Love Talk Radio. Welcome to Weekly Window Talk with Sammy the Window Girl. Today we are talking about cottage window options. It's so exciting. First, let me uh, introduce myself. My name is Sammy. I am a window industry professional. I am going on 31 years experience in the manufacturing field and building supply. (laughs) I have 230 locations that carry my product line in 14 states on a regular basis. I also do consulting work in regards to large projects uh, involving windows and even specialty type projects. I just finished up a uh, historical building in downtown Harrisburg and worked with the historical committee and finally got those 59 windows uh, done. If you're dealing with uh, historical buildings and historical homes and you need a window specific for that, go ahead, give me a call. Um, my claim to fame is really in the vinyl window industry, um, new construction and replacement. And I do a podcast every week and you can always say, hey, Alexa, play weekly window talk with Sammy, the window girl. Um, I normally deal with all types of individuals in the window business. Um, Obviously, I do distribute on a wholesale level, um, but sometimes I do get calls from homeowners and things like that. If you have a window topic that you want to discuss or if there's something about the window industry you would like to know, I can be found on LinkedIn under Sammy Nelson and also Google+. I also have a business page, Sammy Windows. And um, my email is buyfromsammy at yahoo.com. That's B-U-Y-F-R-O-M-S-A-M-M-Y at yahoo.com. My products are made twice as fast as anybody else in the industry. I guarantee lowest industry prices um, with the fastest lead time available and excellent customer service. But I am wholesale only. I don't uh, sell retail every now and again I'll do one uh, as a consulting job being put in as a project manager but that's not really what I do in the industry my office hours are 8 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Monday through Friday Central Standard Time okay um, so if you want to contact me those are all the ways that you can get a hold of me okay so this show this podcast is about cottage window options okay well typically in the industry, a cottage window would be considered a double hung window with unequal divided light. Well, a double hung window is unequally divided light, pretty much. I mean, we do have the upgraded version with the extra piece of extrusion that'll make the top and the bottom sash the same sizes, but typically the top sash and the bottom sash will vary from size by about a quarter of an inch um, to the naked eye. That's not a big deal, but if you're in the window industry, it means something. But a cottage window is 80% top sash is a non-operational fixture window. The bottom sash is operationable, operationable at about 20%. And the reason why people will choose this design on a cottage window is because typically cottage homes are around a lake and you want to get that lake view, but you need ventilation. So um, your only option um, used to be pretty much the picture window with an awning window on the bottom. And the reason why people pick that for a cottage window is because, um, You know, first of all, it can crank out and people who go to the lake to enjoy themselves, if it starts raining, they don't have to worry about water getting in the house because the awning window acts like a shield from water coming in. Um, I say this all the time. I, I don't think that that's a reason to leave your windows open because you have a 
awning window, um, I think that if the forecast is calling for rain, the only way to make sure that water is not getting into the home is to actually close the window. But there are people who uh, will disagree with me and say that the awning window, it is okay to leave it open. Um, yeah, and I would say if you're probably just running down to the lake and you're going out and it starts raining by the time you get back, you know, how much water could really get in the house. But as a general rule of thumb, I wouldn't make a habit out of it, right? I mean, how many hours of ventilation do you really need in a day? But in any event, the cottage window is not just the fixed top portion and a ventilating bottom portion um, that has to be an awning window. You can make that an unequal light double hung. And the reason why I like that as a feature is, you know, basically you're not dealing with cranking out that window. The awning window is part of the casement family and the casement hardware. And some people would rather just, you know, slide a window up and down instead of cranking it out. Um, and, and that's an option for you. Uh, again, you know, cottage windows, you want to have that unobstructed view um, you can always do casement windows but even a casement window might have a, a maximum and a minimum that doesn't work for your opening uh, and it's not really a widely used window uh, around a cottage anyway uh, the one thing that you want to be careful with whenever you're ordering casement windows is how is the wind in your area does the wind pick up so strongly that it could, you know, affect the way that that window sits in its frame? Because I've seen windows, casement windows, that had the wrong hinging on them, and the window can't keep up. Like, it was hinged left when it should have been hinged right, because the way that the direction of the wind is blowing, it literally tries to just blow the sash right off of the master frame and those things do happen. When you talk about window replacement on cottage homes, um, I feel like the most important feature needs to be preserved, especially if you're looking out on a lake and you have a lake view, um, which can be very calming and soothing, you know, to sit and look through the window, you know, at the lake. Now, um, just because that is what is mostly used around the cottage windows, uh, cottage homes, that doesn't mean that you have to replace it that way. Um, usually by the time these homes, because they're not used that much, especially in the winter, it seems like, you know, in the winter they just kind of get closed up and nobody really goes up to the lake. Um, some people do, but you have to take into consideration most of the time cottage lake homes. It's really a seasonal thing. So by the time people get around to replacing windows in these homes, I mean, these homes can be, have the original windows from the 1960s, you know, or storm windows, because it's like, ah, it's the cottage house, you know, it doesn't have as much, it doesn't hold as much as importance as a regular home, because it's a second home, and it's used for vacation purposes. But, you know, that's why I like to talk to people and find out, you know, what their view is like or what their purpose is when they're trying to redesign what's in the opening. The one thing that I always talk about is you don't have to replace what is already in the existing opening. Sometimes that's not even a good option to do that. You know, I drive past homes all the time and I say to myself, who replaced the window with that? It's like these really small, tiny windows, like double hung windows. You all this big picture window on these really tiny little skinny double hungs on the side. And it's like, that doesn't even look right. Like who did that? Uh, not somebody who was in the window industry a long time because they wouldn't design an opening like that. I mean, unless the homeowner absolutely just wanted the very smallest amount of ventilation in that area, which I can't see a reason for that. But anyway, um, just want to educate people in regards to what their options are when they're replacing windows because most people only replace windows like once in their life. They don't, people, that should, you know, they replace it because they want something better than what they had, but 
that's my point. Like really do your own research as an end consumer, what the best is for that opening. Some people just think that, you know, they hear the same names over and over and that's a trusted source as far as a window manufacturer, but people in the window industry that, you know, I deal with, it's like, you know, you really want to do your homework. There's over 500 window manufacturers in the United States. Is one going to be better than the other? Yes. But in this scenario, bigger is not better. Bigger is more marketing is what that is. That doesn't mean you're going to get a better window. And um, I just urge people to, you know, try smaller manufacturers, especially for savings. Sometimes I get people who will call me up and ask me, you know, does this, does this even sound right? And as far as like a price on a window and it's like, um, not at all. Some people are being charged like 12 times the going rate just because they think that buying a name that might be well advertised is a better window. It's like, no, take the time to do your, your research because that could cost you thousands and thousands of dollars that you didn't even know about. So, you know, bigger is not always better. Bigger just means more advertising dollars. So those are your options for the cottage windows. Um, like I said, if anybody has questions or if you want to sign up a wholesale account with me, go ahead and best way to get a hold of me is by email, buyfromsammy at yahoo.com. That's B-U-Y-F-R-O-M-S-A-M-M-Y at yahoo.com. Or you can also text me at area code 630-487-8312. Until next week, this is Weekly Window Talk with Sammy, and I wish everybody an excellent week. And it is full-blown window season, so we're all back busy making the windows.